What's the characteristic of these internal business applications? They're typically applications that have, by default, a lot of integrations with existing systems. A lot of uh, integrations with databases, with Snowflake, with platforms like Salesforce, ServiceNow, NetSuite, SAP. These applications fill up holes that are not addressed by the existing systems. Typically automations, workflows, and revamping a front ends for internal employees that optimize the work of these employees. So any type of application that's a composite that uses other systems usually exposes either becomes a new service, exposes an API or exposes a front end. Everything that I've said about external customers can be applied to actually internal employees is part of these internal business applications. There's tons of examples. This is where the biggest backlog exists for an IT leader. For instance, a lot of companies uh, need, uh, they have a structure of products that's complex and that's very custom. A product catalog, it's typically a very common type of uh, system that's building out systems. The data structure is very custom. Whenever we're introducing uh, managing the life cycle of a product, creation of a product, it usually uh, requires a lot of users, a lot of employees inside the organization, sometimes even partners. And so there's multiple front ends that need to be associated to that core piece of data. So a product catalog, very common. Pricing engine, very common. Workflows, myriad of workflows that cross multiple departments customized for organizations. Let me give you another example, for instance, of a very big workflow. When consumer goods companies uh, uh, launch a new product, like for instance, Procter & Gamble launches a new type of shampoo, uh, a supermarket chain, a retailer, would need to uh, take that shampoo and until it appears in the shelves of the supermarket, it needs to go through about nine different organizations from category management to warehouse management to pricing, promotions, campaigns. There's tons of de departments that need to approve the uh, a need to customize how the product is going to actually be used inside the retailer. Now, one particular customer of ours if, uh, usually took about five weeks to be able to process a new product from announcement to shelf. Without systems, they built an extremely custom workflow process where everyone was working in parallel and they compress a process of five weeks to three days. These are the type of opportunities that you can do without systems. You don't know exactly sometimes where the optimization of these workflows, the optimization of these applications, the optimization of these front ends that interact around data is going to occur. But one thing you can be always sure is that without systems, you can do it.